What's going on? Benji Kaiser here today, and today we're talking about InDesign text wraps. How to make sure you effectively wrap text around an image using InDesign. And stay tuned because I'm going to show you my favorite trick that I've been using for InDesign text wraps in order to boost my productivity. Coming up right now. Before we jump into the content, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I highly recommend doing so. Put out weekly videos with graphic design text, tools, tips, InDesign tutorials, Photoshop, Illustrator, the whole gamut, helping you maximize your career as a graphic designer. If you're interested in more videos just like this, I've listed some in the YouTube cards above or the description below. I actually have a full series on learning how to use InDesign. So if you have any questions about what you want to learn within graphic design, please comment below. I would love to put out tutorials to help you get plugged into the graphic design industry. For now, let's jump over to my screen and check out how to wrap text in InDesign. Hey, welcome over to the screen here now, and we're just gonna jump in right away and show you how to work with text wraps and one really fantastic trick in order to make sure that your text wraps don't interfere with other text that you're trying to add into your documents. So what we want to do is we want to take our text box we've created and we want to send it to the back behind our image. So we'll go to Object, Arrange, Send to Back. And that looks good except now, you know, the image is on top of the text. But what we'll do is we'll click the image and then simply go up and click Wrap Around Bounding Box. And I click Z on my keyboard so I can get my magnifying glass. I'm just going to zoom in. And what I see now is it's really close and it's awkward. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the image and I'm going to bump it down a little bit to even it out. Right there. And then I'm going to click A on my keyboard to get me the direct selection tool. And I can move out my bounding box to kind of push this away a little bit. So I want to get it away from that shadowing. And now I'm not fond of how there's like kind of this line hanging down, so I'm going to boost this up at one line, spacing there. Alright, now this works really well. I mean, honestly, I don't see what else we could, could do for this simple application of text box surrounding our image. But let me show you one thing that frustrated me for a long time until I came across a feature that really helped me out. Say you want to put a little caption down here. I'm going to create a, a white bounding box at the bottom of our image. We're going to get rid of that stroke and we're just going to put a white box here. So we're going to click T and we're going to drag a type box over here. I'm just going to type in grass hut. And then I'm going to click back in. Now that the text box is selected, I can click T on my keyboard and bump down the font size a little bit to make sure it fits within my text box area that I've created. All right, now watch what happens when I drag my text box into my bounding box here in the frame. I get this annoying icon that means it cannot display my text. And what is happening is the text box and the text wrap is interfering with my text box on top. So it's doing the correct thing. It's pushing the text away from the image. But I don't want it to do it with this specific text box. So what do I do? Well, I could do this, and this is a really shabby way to do it. You could move this up, and then you could create a text box here, and you could make this. You could pull this down, and you know, start to kind of create your own little makeshift work away, so that way that your text doesn't get interfered with. But that's a really shabby way to do it, and it's going to affect you in the long run, and it's not good design craftsmanship. We'll just say that. So we're going to go back, and we're going to undo all that we did there we're using command Z of course and what you'll see now is the text box is still there what I want you to do is go up to edit preferences and we're gonna go to composition and under composition you see text wrap and it says text wrap only affects text beneath and we're gonna select that and there you go so now what that means is the only thing that this is going to affect is the text beneath so because this is arranged on top of this image, it is not going to cut us away, which is super helpful. So that is my number one tip that I found recently that I just absolutely love about InDesign is the text wrap beneath feature under composition. 
And I hope this helps you out. This has helped me out a ton, help with my workflow and just creating better organized documents. Thanks for tuning in today to this tutorial about how to do text wraps within InDesign. Again, subscribe to this channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest content. And if you don't want to miss out on any of it, hit the bell notification. Comment below again if you have any questions or tips or tools you want to learn within the graphic design industry. And don't forget to hit that like button as a big help to this channel. Stay tuned to more videos here. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com.